Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lacey. I am the owner of Milky Candles and I make videos about life in my 30s. Today is pretty much gonna be a day of me making vessels. It has been a lot slower in the winter because my voice is so deep because I finally just rolled out of bed. But it's been a lot slower in the winter only because um, it, the dry time is a lot slower. So I'll go and try to take stuff out of its molds like an hour later, which is totally okay in the summer. And then they like start breaking and I'm like, why haven't I learned? So anyway, I'm only allowing myself to make two sets a day, which is very slow. And it makes me think that when the time comes, I need to invest in more molds so that in the winter I can make more, but less frequently, if that makes any sense. Yesterday I did my taxes. I do my taxes with H&R Block. I've gone there year after year and it's just, I know what to expect every time. I like it. I have a registered LLC and I am the sole owner and I'm the only person working. So that means that my, um, personal taxes and my LLC taxes are combined, I think into like a schedule C or something like that. And it just saves me time and, and money to do it that way. So now I owe the IRS a um, thousand and some change. So that needs to be, I need to write that check, send it off at some point between, well, what's today, Friday? I'll probably do it Monday. Look at Millie just shading me. I also need my haircut. It is what it is. But in the meantime, I'm working on three wholesale orders at one time. One is for a lovely human who works at one of the stores that I wholesale with and it's for her wedding. So she wanted to do a bunch of little minis with cute dust cover sayings. And so I'm working on getting all of those done. I don't sell those minis anymore just because they were a lot of work for um, how much I sold them for and I wasn't comfortable with selling them for more money because they're so small. So I have those, there's 80 of those that I need to do. So I'm still in the process of making her vessels. We also need to land on one last scent because it was a scent that I used to have and it, she loves it, but it was before I started really tracking all of my scents and what was made out of what. So I purchased, or I think I just got the sample of the fragrance oil, I'm not quite sure. Um, just to see if that's even the right smell. So she's gonna bring her candle. I'm gonna bring the fragrance oil. I'm gonna get my sniffer going and smell both and see what that does. Um, but I haven't, I was supposed to do that last week and then time got away from me. And so her wedding is not for a long time. So technically I have time, but if it were me, I would want to just like seal the deal, have the candles and know that that's one more thing checked off my wedding list. So I don't wanna wait on that for too long. I also have an order with Local Nomad. So I think I'm gonna do like a cute little where can you find us in Phoenix thing on my website. But anyway, um, so I finished, I have all of their vessels made and I have some of their candles made. So they wanted mango milk, cause who doesn't? So, you know, I think for wholesale, especially local wholesale, I'm fine with doing scents that I normally don't carry all year. Do you know what I mean? Like. Just because it's not summer doesn't mean you can't have it. You're paying for it anyway, so might as well. So I packaged those last night. So those are sitting over here. I also need to finish, I need to box these dark and handsomes today because I'm completely sold out. Uh, it is not the 22nd, it is the 24th. Isn't that right, Butters? Yeah. And then I have one more wholesale order, which is smaller than normal um, for Ani Beauty, which I think I've talked about that one before in a couple of videos ago. So um, they've got some room sprays and stuff. I actually have a lot of room sprays in the garage that I need to put on the shelves today. So I feel like I want to make a list, but honestly, I woke up kind of late and I feel like I just want to get started doing stuff. So I'm going to sit down and sip my coffee. I'm probably not going to sit down, honestly probably just gonna sip my coffee. I also need to go to the bank. Oh, well, I forgot I made these. This is where I'm at. I made their boyfriend's sweater. I just need to pack them up Butters. Butters does not like it if I'm talking, but I'm not talking to him. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, kiddo. Oh my God, you 
are such a needy boy today. Wow. Wow. Is it that serious? Is it that serious? I love her. Maybe I will make a list because it'll make me feel better. Ugh, have I talked to you guys about that? Like, wow, my hair, that's cute. It's a book. Sometimes when I get my day started, there feels like so many things that I have to do. And at the end of the day, I don't feel accomplished because I feel like there's so many more things I have to do. But if I just, if I sit down and think about, this is a reasonable amount for the day and the time I, I have, then I feel better at the end of the day. So maybe I will make a list. Butters, wow. Before I do that, I just need to, this candle is gonna pain in my butt. Sometimes there's just one, just one. So I'm just gonna melt it down partially and then come back later. Ash is very upset right now. Okay, that's good for now. Let's go make a list. I'm making two lists. One is Ash's schedule because he needs to be put on a schedule 100% he um, is not getting the hang of potty training. We have tried the bell. We have done the, we are catching you while you pee bad boy and take him outside and be like, oh, good boy. We've done all of it. So I'm putting him on a schedule. I need his potting to be more predictable. Take, take a notes for the day to implement tomorrow. All right, the other thing is, what do I need to do today? Today is Friday. I need to make vessels. I'm gonna do it in this order. Look how big he is, you guys, next to Kira. <laughs> Seal and prep vessels because I have some on the table here that I need to do that too. Um, I need to box dark and handsome. I'm probably going to take Ash on a walk honestly like his energy just needs to be drained throughout my work days so Ash walk. I'm assuming that'll be around noon. Then I'll come back. I'll box the boyfriend sweater. Maybe. Ugh, I hate boxing those. What I might do before that actually is I need to restock room sprays, which might mean I then make room sprays. I actually need to label boyfriend sweater first. I like labeling and then boxing later. Sometimes the labels, if I don't put them on right, they'll sort of just come on then so okay so far this is my game plan for today so these are some vessels from yesterday that i need to take out i always start with the lids because they're easier <laughs> i actually started with the minis which were already taken out to the left um and then i just take them in about seven or eight at a time i let them dry on my kitchen table some of them need a tiny, tiny bit of sanding, so I'll do that if necessary, but not all of them do. Usually if it's, at, if it's when I end up pouring outside of the vessel. And then now I'm gonna take out the actual vessels. This is the next day, so they're really cold in the morning, and it is really hard to take them out when they're this cold. But again, I just take them out little by little. And then I am making some gray vessels. So I'm just tossing between the minis, the lids, the actual vessel itself. And I do this like kind of shaking motion because it creates a nice wave pattern in the vessel between like the light and dark gray. Not that it, 
I mean, it's the same color, but that's just how it sets. Sometimes you'll see that I fill one a little bit and then the other one a little bit and kind of go back and forth until they're both filled. That's usually when I first mix it, and that's because there's just a lot of air bubbles, and I find that that helps with that. But I don't really mind air bubbles that much. But I usually make about half of the batch, and then I'll pour it, and then I'll make the other half. And that just makes it easy for me. And then I come inside, and then I'll let those dry for, you know, half the day since it's winter. And I'm putting warning labels on all of my vessels. I like to do this before I make the candle, honestly. Um, I used to do it backwards because I found that if I messed up a candle, then I wasted other material like the warning stickers and the bumpers but sometimes I forgot I would or I would notice I would forget to go back and do this so I just do it before now prep the vessels before using them and I don't always place it evenly but I don't really care that much I mean no one's looking at the bottom anyway and then I started using these clear bumpers I don't put them I don't make sure to put them on like super even honestly because I just know that it's gonna be fine, but I do, sometimes the bottoms of my vessels can be a little bit more rounded depending on how I pour them. So for those ones, I like to put the bumpers closer towards the center so that it creates a nice even surface. I don't really know if that made sense, but, and then that's really it for these. They're ready to go. Well, they're ready to paint, which is what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so I'm about to seal these. I've already prepped the bottom. You watched me do that. Sometimes this, I don't close this all the way because it gets like glued shut. Um, something I wanna talk about is what it means to make your own vessels. I'm not loving this angle. And I'm gonna chat with you about how I feel now that I am not just a candle maker, but I am also a cement artist, artiste. Sometimes I wonder how can I scale my business if I am doing absolutely everything. And I love making my own vessels. Um, I worry about in the future when the demand doesn't meet the supply because that will inevitably happen if I'm the only one making both candles and vessels. Since everything is hand poured and nothing is you know, made by a machine. So I've started questioning ways in which I can maximize my time. You guys know I've kind of been talking about that a little bit on this channel is how do you maximize the time? Where do you just spend the extra bit of money? Where do you spend the extra amount of time? It's obviously different for everyone, but lately I've been kind of feeling like this is like making the vessels is slowing me down. However, making the vessels is also an extremely important part of my candles, like me personally, because people seem to just really enjoy that a lot more. Um, just that, that concept of my product. Additionally, I would wanna stick with something like cement. I wouldn't wanna just fully go glass only because I feel like, you know, there's a lot of glass candle companies out there and there's no shade to them. I think that they are beautiful and they're all uniquely done. But for me, I just knew from the beginning, I didn't want glass. That's why I started with black tins. Then I saw everyone had black tins. And then I was like, oh, I don't really want black tins anymore. So I went with cement. And since I couldn't find anyone who could do them for me and well okay the, the reality is is you either pay for the product or you pay for the shipping that's just how everything goes right so i would find really cheap vessels but the shipping was a lot of money or i would find really expensive vessels but the shipping was cheap and that's just how it goes so i was in that place in the place where i thought i'll just make them myself i'll figure out how to make them myself so i invested in the molds right i've got probably about a thousand something dollars worth of of vessel molds in my garage and maybe i'm just like putting the cart before the horse and maybe i really just need to think about that like cross that bridge when i or cross that road when i get there whatever the phrase is i just used two at the same time but as an overthinker that's not really how my brain works so i'm trying to think about it now 
And I've even thought about, you know, my time. It takes, when I think about making candles, I no longer think about making candles. I think about the whole process, which, yeah, that makes sense. But when I used to think about making candles, it was really just the act of making candles. Now it's the whole process of making a vessel and letting it dry and then prepping it and then sealing it and then filling it. And, and good God, you better be careful when you fill these cement vessels because, you know, when the wick is lit and the candle is burning, everything is fine with the vessel. Nothing's really going to happen. There might be some hairline cracking here and there, but that's just because it's like a, that's just what cement does. But when you fill these vessels, you better make sure that temperature is a-okay. You better make sure that that temperature is low because... When you have a candle lit, yes, the temperature is high, but it's a concentrated heat that slowly builds up over time when you have that candle lit. However, when you pour hot wax into a vessel very quickly and the temperature of the vessel from top to bottom and bottom to top goes from cold or room temp to hot, the amount of cracks that I have witnessed. So I've just, I've really had to learn to pour very slowly. So it's not like I have, it's not like the learning curve or anything is frustrating me because I feel like I've already gotten past that point, to be honest. I can even remember when I would, um, what's this? Seal the inside of my vessel and I would get so many air bubbles and I didn't understand why I was getting so many air bubbles. Um, and why it would only happen sometimes and not every time. And then I realized that it's not air bubbles. It's actually moisture stuck in the vessel pushing out the paint. It's not accepting the paint to sit on top of the vessel. And I remember that was a huge barrier for me. I remember when I was trying to figure out how to, um, I didn't know this was gonna turn into memory lane, but apparently it has, so thanks for being here for it. I can remember when I wasn't able to um, make a colored vessel and I was trying to use paint and then I was trying to use like dye, like the kind of like fabric dye. And then I just, sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't. And I was like, oh, what's the magic? What is the magic way? Well, the magic way is just getting cement dye, like actual cement dye. Dye that's for cement. That makes sense to me now, but it didn't then. I was all, ooh, DIY. So the learning curves, I really feel like I don't have those anymore. Thank God. Um, not to say I'm like an expert, but I learn from my mistakes and I, I make the mistakes pretty quickly and I try not to make them again. And I'm kind of, I become obsessive over finding solutions. But anyway, I am more so just thinking about the amount of time that it takes. And I always feel bad when there's like, a wholesale order or even now I'm not gonna do this for everybody and I definitely shouldn't have done it at all but sometimes people will be like do you sell this scent anymore and I'm like no but if you buy like four of them I can make it for you like that's fine and I can just send you an invoice and ship it to you and you can pay for shipping and all that kind of stuff because I'm still so such a small business I feel like I can do that without it feeling too overwhelming I forgot what my point was with that I really don't remember what my point was with that Time it takes, oh, okay, yeah, time, <laughs> Jesus. So when I do that kind of stuff, I feel bad that it doesn't, it takes me less time than just like any other candle business. And I don't mean like any other, like there's so much less, right? But I just mean like people who sell glass candles or people who buy their vessels because all they really need to do is just buy them. And I do feel like that feels like it takes less time because then you can use your time doing something else. Now I struggle with that because I don't feel like a candle maker. I feel like an artist. Like this is my art form. Millie, I need you to stay away from those vessels because I don't know what love affair you have with them. She like walks between them and is like, am I going to kick one off the table? You'll never know. Stay over there. I'm not doing this with you today. Thank you for listening. And sometimes I feel, this is such a, this is, feels like such a pity party, but sometimes I feel a little bad for myself because I'm like, maybe you shot yourself in the foot by doing everything 
homemade. Everything is hand poured, everything is DIY. Honestly, the only thing I don't do is make the wax myself and like make the wicks myself. So I don't know, I, I've thought about, you know, candle science, I always see they have really cute vessels, but like, I just can't fathom paying that much. I can't fathom paying like $36 for 12 vessels or something, something like that. I can't fathom it. That reminds me, I need to order cement today. I don't know. And maybe it's just all about like my, how I'm scheduling things, right? Like maybe I'm not making them as fast as I want to. There was a while there where I was making them like every day and I had such a nice selection out in the garage and when I was ready to make candles, all I needed to do was grab one and that felt really good, but it also felt really hard to keep up with. So um, that's just something I kind of want to practice a little bit more. My fiance has also asked me to teach her how to make vessels, which I would love to do, but we just haven't been able to find the time and then she had surgery and then, you know, what is that sound? It almost sounds like a weed whacker outside, but it also sounds like a bug stuck in the house. Like I can't really tell what that sound is. So those are just kind of my general thoughts while I have two more vessels left to paint. But um, I love making cement stuff though. Like it is so much fun. I need to go figure out what that is. I don't know if it's Kira snoring or Ash in his kennel. He's finally doing really well with doing crate train. So yeah, I don't know what I'll do. Um, I love making cement. I think for me, because I'm on this like time efficiency kick, I have really been thinking about how much time it takes for me to make the vessels, but it's also a major part of my company. Like there was um, this woman, I don't remember her name off the top of my head. She made a YouTube video that was like, this is my haul. I will actually link it down below and tag it in the top right corner. But she was, you know, I, I was just having this conversation with my best friend because she was in town and I was like, you know, ugh, making the vessels. I love doing it. But when I think about how much time I could spend doing other things like focus on advertising and marketing and things like that, I'm just not sure if it's, if it's been the most time efficient and then I watched this this woman's video and she was like, you know, I'm, I'm used to seeing like black owned candle businesses, but I'm not used to seeing one that sells them like this. And she talked about the vessel and how much she loved the vessel. And I was like, oh man, there it is right in front of my face. Like she just told me how I am unique and how I set myself apart from others. And yet that is the thing I'm thinking of changing. That doesn't make sense for me to change that then especially if I still enjoy doing it. So maybe maybe what needs to happen is I just need to get over the fact that it is going to take longer and that I'm not mass producing anything and that I can't produce things at the rate of other people. And that's fine and maybe that's part of the beauty of it. I don't know, I, I don't know. I guess, I need you to stop doing that, Millie. I need you to stop doing that, okay? You're stressing me out. Yeah, these are painted, so you're definitely not coming near these. I don't know who she thinks she is, guys, but she is not my cat. What are your thoughts? <laughs> you tell me, because I, I think I've just talked myself through it. Thank you for listening and being part of that process. I think I, I understand that I just need to get over the fact that it does take me more time. And it, I'm not even bothered by the fact that it takes me more time. I'm more so just bothered by the fact that I can't produce as quickly as I want to. But I don't even think that there's a demand for that yet. So maybe I do just need to completely get over it. Okay, now you're messing with my tax documents. You gotta get off the table. Yeah, I love you so, so, so much. Thanks for getting off. Thanks for being here. We did this, we did this. I'm gonna switch a couple of these. I'm gonna label boyfriend sweater, then I'm gonna take Ash on a walk. I'll probably bring Roxy with me because she's a really good dog walk companion um Kira is terrified of walks and uh, what's her name Penny has a little bit of her ACL torn so we're not going to take Penny um so I'll probably just label boyfriend sweater take ash come back and box both of those restock room sprays make room sprays order order blah, 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 blah. you know the deal let's do that is this you telling me that you're upset that I won't let you ruin my things yes 
Yes, yes, yes. Ouch. Ouchies. Her bites feel like nothing. After Ash, after having a puppy, kitten bites feel like nothing. Like, bring it on, chica. Bring it on. <laughs> pop, kiss, 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 pop. And let's just label, shall we? I've gotten a lot of questions about what labels I use. I use the Avery Durable Wipe Film. They are four by one or one by four, however they have them. All right, I'm gonna put on a bra since I'm gonna go take Ash on a walk and Roxy, even though those are the two that hate each other the most. Roxy just isn't like any, anyone. If anyone is making her life seem in inconvenient because they're in her physical space, she's over them. She doesn't need them. Okay, we are on. You guys, in the moment, I had no idea that I was in slow mo, and I didn't see it until afterwards, and it cracked me up. But, uh, we went on about a 30 minute walk, which was Come on. good. Ash was very tired by the time we got back because we did just a little bit of slight jogging. Um, plus he got plenty of attention. So, but yeah, slow mo footage of me on a walk with the dogs. <laughs> so all of that was in slow motion, which is, <laughs> but we are home now. Um, Ash is currently inside taking a nap on the floor next to the water bowl. I'm glad I took the dogs for a WALK because I've actually been wanting to be a little bit more active and just walk. Like, I don't feel the need to try to run marathons or nothing right now. But um, yeah, I've, I've been wanting to just move a little bit more, especially because, like, now that I work from home, I definitely have to try to move more now. Went. Anyway, um, now that I work from home, I have to try to move a little bit more now. I feel like it just takes more effort. So, yeah, I'm glad that I was able to do that. But Atosha actually had a pretty uh, bad day at work, so she's on her way home. So when she comes home, I'm just going to prioritize that um, for a little while. She needs it and then uh, we'll get back to it. So let's see how far we get. I also have a California pizza kitchen pizza in the oven. So that's at least good timing. So when I pack these candles, I wrap them with paper and then I will surround them with crinkle paper, close the lid, and then I will add a label on it, which at the top of the label is about, you know, who the company is. And then the bottom is the description of the candle scent um, and its best uses. So this takes a long time, but it's been working for now. to do today was kind of just make this area a little bit better um but I'm running out of time 
And I also wanted to just do a little bit more organization in my office because I like doing that when I restock. So might just save this for tomorrow. But this is the last round of vessels I'll do today. Tomorrow, I do want to do some more of these gray ones, but I also desperately need brown for the brown girl collection. So I'm going to have to prioritize that tomorrow. I need to take a look at how many of the brown girl ones were ordered because I'm also doing the that special order for that one girl. She wanted thick peach. I no longer sell thick peach, but she wanted it. Um, just going to do it for her because why not? It's an easy thing. So yeah, just need to double check those numbers. Words. Just words. I didn't even have here make vessels twice. Unless I'm blind. So this is tomorrow. This is tomorrow. I'm gonna have I'm gonna do these three today. All right, so I just finished the boyfriend sweater candles and let's go see what else I had on my list. Cause I, I think I'm, I'm feeling really, really anxious and it's making me feel nauseous, which is kind of telling me that I think it's maybe time to wrap it up. I haven't really taken a break break today. So um, I think the only real thing I had left was restock and then make room sprays, but I'm going to, I'm going to save those two things for tomorrow. Oops, sorry. My finger's in the way. Cause I feel like, I feel like I've done a lot. So I think I'm going to end here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Even if you don't love me back, if you want to stick around and watch another vlog, go ahead and click the video to your right. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.